Hi, I'm Angie Monko, your holistic divorce coach for women. And today I want to talk about three reasons to do shadow work and move forward. Um, doing shadow work can really help us to heal and move forward in our lives by helping us get in touch with the various aspects of ourself and to understand our essence behind the scenes. Um, so how do I define it? Um, I, by the way, I started working with this back in 2007 when I was learning emotional freedom technique and doing parts therapy. So my definition of uh, shadow work is through journaling, tapping, deep introspection, personal inquiry of any kind, um, we come to know the various parts or aspects of our personality so that we can better understand and have more compassion, respect, and love for ourselves. In other words, know thyself. So reason number one is we become liberated. Uh, to the extent that we know our true nature. In other words, we're much more centered and stable when we know who we truly are. Back in 2015, I remember going to an event called the Ultimate Key to Freedom Experience with my two daughters, and Robert Scheinfeld was the teacher. He showed us a clip from this movie Revolver from 2005, and there was this elevator scene, and, and this guy, Jake, was in there, and he's having a conversation with his ego and the ego is trying to convince him like um, you know I am the one in control you don't control me I control you and you know me you can trust me so he's in the elevator and he's having this conversation and um, I'll put the links to that in the comments um, so that you can check it out um, but it's it's extremely uh, intense and emotional um, but well worth watching so the scene from Revolver really got me emotional because it brings to the surface just how much we have this part of us who wants to fight with us. It's like it's saying, fight with me, man, fight with me, give me attention. And it's trying to pull us off center. And the reason that can help us is when we truly get that in our heart, we're no longer tricked and we can see it. And, and so we become aware and we realize that that's not who I am. And um, we might say uh, to ourselves, okay, so I have these parts of me. Uh, they tell me lies all the time. They aren't bad and I don't wanna get rid of them. I also don't want them to rule me anymore. Like an annoying fly, I swat away my, the messages my parts would have me believe about myself. I don't kill them because they won't go away as long as I'm alive. The flies just come at me at a much slower, less distracting pace. And reason two, uh, Doing the shadow work gives us more empathy towards ourselves. And when we have that, we can give it to others. How is this possible? Just if we can get to know and see these parts, how can that do that? So just like in the revolver scene, when you see the self-absorbed parts, um, Jake says in the scene, I can hear you, I'm on to you. Um, it has a way of pattern interrupting those parts. Um, you can see that Jake's part looks kind of confused. Oh my gosh, like he's noticing me. So whatever that is, that it pattern pattern interrupts it. And then Jake says, um, you ain't me. He realizes that's not who he really is. He said, you don't control me, I control you, meaning to his part. Um, so then this is a beautiful scene of Jake surrendering to his higher self and reclaiming his power. And once we do that, we can understand ourselves so much better and give empathy to others as well. Okay. Now, reason number three is that we can give much greater service to others when we do shadow work. And how is that? Well, when we do shadow work, we become much more empathetic towards ourselves. We have more self-love, self-compassion. And what happens is we become uh, more giving and flowing and generous with our time and our energy. And when we're in, in that expanded space, we can really be a gift to another person. But when we restrict our heart and, uh, you know, we're coming from fear and the unknown, well, guess what? We'll do things out of obligation and resentment called people pleasing. And so um, when we align with our authentic self and we feel safe and grounded and centered, we will get our needs met in a way that feels good to us and it won't matter what others say. So we can actually give much more service to other people when we're coming from this space of love versus fear. Dr. Edith Ubuntu Chan explains it like this. She said, when we're centered within ourselves, we can 
do our own work and energetically we're in our body and everybody benefits because they lock into this higher level of energy. And when we're not centered, when we uh, leave our body, it's like it leaves a hole in our energetic field, leaving us vulnerable to someone taking over that space. So we really need to mind our own business energetically and it forces us to come back to ourselves. So how do we do the energy work? Well, I highly recommend that you work with a coach or a hypnotist or a therapist to do it because even though we are our own guru, we don't see our own blind spots. So if you need any kind of help with this, go to harmonyharbor.com. I love doing parts therapy and shadow work and I would love to support you on your journey back to yourself.